Thank you. I had a great time. I'm always blessed when people decide to include me in things and try to uplift the people around me and my community and do things for Staten Island. To South America, when I went to Europe, everywhere I go that's not Staten Island, I get so much love. I've been rapping and making music and being creative for a very, very long time. I am who I am. My family is who they are. I'm not going to deny that. <clears throat> so at some point in my career, I decided to embrace it, you know? Probably around the time I started. Symbol is actually the most famous iconic symbol in all of hip-hop history. Hmm. Something I've heard. Are you telling me or are you asking? I think the Wu-Tang symbol is the most popular hip-hop symbol of all time. I don't get a dime from that logo, so good, good for them. It's always incredible when I get to do what I love, get to do what I've been practicing my whole life to do. Further away from home, wherever your home is, and the further away from America you get, the crowds really, really appreciate hip-hop. Because I'm very versatile, you know, I got country songs, I got rock songs, I got pop songs, I got doo-wop songs, like, I got, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very diverse. I'm definitely headliner worthy, I'm definitely headliner material, I have the music, I have the catalog, I have the stage presence, you know. Maybe I don't have the spins, maybe I don't have the radio play, maybe I don't have the, 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 the popularity contest vote. I think I, for a while I questioned, I'm like, is it because my music is whack? Like, I really was questioning the art, you know, but I, I know without a shadow of a doubt that my music is not whack and never has been so it's not the music right. then I'm like maybe it's me maybe people just don't like me my personality Montreal, they treat me like a king Canada they treat me like a king Europe treats me like a king the goal for me now is to just keep doing what I'm doing till I get a big enough bag to bring myself to tour in Europe courteous respectful I do my job and I make try to build a rapport and a relationship with the people that's running the show not just the artists that's like yo yeah we gotta get in the studio God what's good I, 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 blah, say, blah. like nah I want to talk to the people that put all this together I don't that's where I'm at now. When I was to now feed my family without having to worry about where the money's coming from. Me, because they think they know me, bro. People don't really know me. I have a very, right. very small circle. So they go off what they think they know. And they think they know what they know from watching Wu-Tang. Right. So maybe you might think that all the children of the Wu-Tang are living this luxurious, uh, glamorous, creative, do whatever you want, travel the world lifestyle. And a lot of our lives are not as it should be, you know? But that's okay because it's also room for us to make them how we want it to be. Right. Oh, he's good, the woo got him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, the woo don't got me. The woo don't got me and the woo has never had me. I've had me and I will. So it, 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 it's a challenge, but you know, what don't kill you makes you stronger. N in no way, shape or form, am I gonna make my son go through all, everything that I've gone through these past 32 years of my life, all the terrible things that I've gone through, I cannot see the benefit in making my son start from there. You know what I'm saying? Because I think courage and toughness is doing things that you don't want to do when you have to do them. And when you have kids, you have to be there for them. But this is the most important time of their lives right they now. They need me every single moment. I learned that from a, a, a absence of that you see what I'm saying? we can't have our children starting from where we started or even further back that's just insane and black people have a habit of doing that shit and we need to stop there were people along the way that invested in me but they invested in me in their way i see how determined you are and i see your work ethic on top of your let's vision. give it a on top of your vision let's give it a shot and we were successful the only thing that stopped us was the pandemic and i just had to slowly watch second generation woo fade into nothingness. So now I'm sleeping in the studio all the time, making music during the pandemic, trying to keep second generation rule a lot. The studio was cold, it was dirty, like it's not some place I would rather have been home with my family. Right. And like literally holding second generation Wu's heart in my hand, pumping it myself to give it life and blood. But the people that I did it for initially don't really appreciate everything that I put into and what I did to make it happen and make it a thing. And um, that hurts, you know? Really, I was trying to build a platform for us all to stand right. together, right. you know? But you can't teach people things that they can't be taught, and you can't make people see things they don't want to see. So loyalty is really like, what? how far are you willing to go f for someone, and how far are they willing to go for you?